One morning, James was feeling excited. The Fat Controller wants me to pull a special. He's sending me to work on Thomas's branch line. <laughs> James the branch line engine. <laughs> That's a good one. If I were the Fat Controller, I'd be getting James out of the way too. <laughs> James was most indignant, but all his retorts went unnoticed. When he arrived at the junction that afternoon, he forgot to be cross. At the platform stood two very smart-looking coaches. I say, Landed No, is that our engine I see? It must be play now. I wonder if he'll be able to pull us. I'm a very splendid engine. I can handle two measly coaches with no problem. It's about more than haulage. It's about grace, too. Grace? Grace? Huh. I have plenty of grace. Not as much as Torch has. Who's Torch? It's our usual engine. It doesn't often pull trains, but when it does, it knows how to treat us properly. It's a brilliant performer. A grimy goods engine like yourself on the other buffer. Hmm. I needn't say any more. Well, take it from me. You'll both say otherwise by the end of the day. Unfortunately, James only proved himself wrong. He was so cross and made a racket as he stormed up the line. He even overran the third station. If only Torch was here. Yes, indeed. This is simply dreadful. I suppose that's what happens when he can't even see where he's going. Good run so far, James. Oh, shut up! These coaches are being a nuisance, and it doesn't help that your platforms are tiny! By the time James arrived at the end of the line, he was very late. The sooner we're done with these horrid coaches, the better. Terrible engine. No respect. No, no respect. respect. Terrible, Terrible engine. If only Torch was here to ready up him. Oh, stop babbling about your silly Torch. I can hear you two back there, you know. If only we couldn't hear you. James and the coaches argued for what felt like ages. Because of this, James didn't notice that his crew had forgotten to remove his lamp disc and replace it with a proper lamp. After ten long minutes, James left down the line. The train's surroundings grew darker and darker. The stars twinkled in the sky, but no one was bothered with them. Without a lamp to show him the way, all James could see was pitch black. Help! Where are we now? Where are we now? We don't, we don't know. know. We, we don't, don't know. know. Before James could say anything else, so much for grace. Oh. Oh. Seems like some sheep have escaped their field. They broke the fence, and now some of the wood is caught within your valve gear. We'll remove what we can, but I think we'd better call for another engine. 
Better safe than sorry, after all. The crew set to work, while the guard ran to find a telephone. Once the work was done, all everyone could do was wait. Torch wouldn't treat us like this. It wouldn't dare. So you're the one whom I was told about. You seem as if you've seen better days. <laughs> Come along, friend. Let's bring you all home. You've all been here long enough. You need not be upset. You gave it your all. You were put in a difficult situation. And you did what you could. Perhaps mistakes were made on your part, but it happens to us all. Calm yourself, my dear engine. Tomorrow will be a better day. That was your special then. Oh. Oh. Was it you? Uh, what was me? The light, uh, the voice, the puffing, the the the. Uh. Oh, Lang did know, Blowne. What happened last night? Who came to rescue us? That was Torch, the engine we told you about. Wasn't it a sight to behold? No, because I couldn't see it at all. What? Why was its light blinding? It's named Torch for a reason. These big mainline engines are rather silly, aren't they, Blaynow? They most certainly are. Uh, where's Torch now, then? I'd like to see it for myself. <laughs> Who knows? That's how Torch always is. It puts on its show and then disappears like it never came. Amazing, isn't it? Such a marvelous engine. James didn't reply. Instead, he pondered about Torch and just what had happened the night before. didn't mention it to anyone else when he got home. To James's relief, and surprise, no one seemed to know what had happened. James wondered if his adventure was only a dream. But of course, we know it wasn't. Don't.